Good day viewers and welcome to the Polymer Update daily news show. This is Sean Jari Banerjee from the Polymer Update Mumbai office. Today's special news reel is sponsored by Rajasthan based MMA Machines India LLP. The company has been actively engaged as a manufacturer and exporter of plastics and rubber compounding machinery. Acquisition news Lionel Bussell will acquire A. Sholman for a total consideration of 2.25 billion US dollars. Lionel Bussell will purchase 100% of A. Sholman common stock for 42 US dollars per share in cash. Indian producer updates MRPL raised PP prices with effect from February 16, 2018. PP raffia grade prices have been increased by Rs 2.50 per kg basic. PP injection grade prices have seen a rise of Rs 2.20 per kg basic, while PP film grade prices have been hiked by Rs 1.60 per kg basic. In other news, crude oil prices end mixed on Thursday, while WTI traded at 61.34 US dollars, a rise of 74 cents per barrel, Brent finished at 64.33 US dollars, down 3 cents per barrel. Open spec NAFTA prices surged on Thursday at the 566 US dollars per metric ton CFR Far East Asia levels, a steep day on day increase of 25 US dollars per metric ton. In plant news, PTT Global Chemical PTTGC, has undertaken a planned shutdown at its 250,000 metric ton year HDPE plant located at Mafta Foot. Thailand on February 15, 2018. The plant is expected to remain under maintenance until end February 2018. PT Lote Titan Nusantra Indonesia has resumed production at its 125,000 metric ton per year number one LLDPE plant located in Siligaw, Indonesia early this week following an unplanned outage. The plant was shut in end January 2018 owing to shortage of feedstock. Advanced petrochemical company APC is likely to shut its 450,000 metric ton per year PP plant located at Jubel, Saudi Arabia in end February 2018. The plant is slated to remain under maintenance for around 20 to 22 days. Saudi Kayan Petrochemical Company has taken off stream its 400,000 metric ton per year HDPE plant located in Al Jubel, Saudi Arabia on February 11, 2018. The plant is expected to remain shut for around 10 to 12 days. If you have enjoyed watching this daily news video from Polymer Update and have found it to be useful for your business, please subscribe to our channel by pressing the button below. It's Friday. February 16th. This is Sean Chari Banerjee. Thank you. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash polymer update and be sure to click the like button. You can also find us on Twitter at polymer update. For the latest news from the plastics and petrochemicals industry, subscribe to our YouTube channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon.